Good morning. I'm Tim Bako, and I work with the protocol support team of the Ethereum Foundation. I'm here today to talk about the people and the teams who help transition Ethereum from proof of work to proof of stake. Um, but before I get started, I just want to take a minute to explain what protocol support is, because it's like the first time we use this. And um, when I told my family I was joining the EF's protocol support team, they said it kind of sounded like Ethereum's call center, or like people would call if like their transaction is stuck or like they can't run their node. Um, and that's, that's actually not what we do. So the main thing our team does is we help coordinate and facilitate network upgrades to Ethereum. Um, but beyond that, we also spend a lot of time trying to figure out how we can better uh, align the community across the people working on layer one, all of the infrastructure and teams around them, and the people building applications on Ethereum. Another thing we spend a lot of time on is figuring out how can we onboard and retain people to contribute to Ethereum. Um, there's a few things we do on that front. Most recently, we announced the Ethereum Protocol Fellowship, which is something where uh, folks who want to come and, and work on the Ethereum Protocol can do so for a couple months and uh, hopefully then find a job full time working in the space. Another thing we've done is we've helped launch Protocol Guild, which is an on-chain organization that helps DAOs, individuals, and anyone who wants to contribute to fund protocol contributors directly. Um, and lastly, we spend a lot of time doing like weird little mementos and things for the community when there's big milestones that happen. Um, whether these are things like the 1559 NFTs, uh, the merge manual that just went out. Um, we try and think about like how can we uh, like memorialize all these big things, both for the community and for all the people who worked on it. Um, yeah, so that's what we do at Protocol Support, uh, but that's not the main thing I want to talk about. Um, the main topic of today is basically the, what I've called like the heroes of the merge. All of the people, all of the teams who helped get Ethereum to proof of stake. And obviously there's way too many people for me to go over in just a, a short talk, um, but at least there's a couple core buckets that are worth highlighting. The first is everyone involved on the research side. It took many, many, many years of research and dead ends and new specs to come up with not only a specification for the entire beacon chain and proof of stake, but as well as the transition. Um, the EF uh, research team was obviously a big part of that, but they weren't alone. Um, there were other teams, uh, such as TXRX, uh, Quilt, who played a major role in this. Aside from, from these, the next kind of logical one is all of the consensus layer teams. They're the people who write the software that powers the beacon chain and literally run proofs, runs proof of stake. Um, so these are teams like Lighthouse, Nimbus, Prism, Teku, and Lodestar. And obviously, they have all their counterparts on the execution layer, so all of the people who wrote the software to run Ethereum on proof of work, and that still manages basically the EVM transaction, Ethereum state, and all of that. These are teams like Besu, like Geth, uh, like Nethermine, and Aragon. And last but not least, um, the merge was a massive, massive testing effort. Uh, there's not like a single team or even a single project that we can kind of list and encapsulate all of that. So I just want to give a shout out to everyone who's worked uh, on all of the testing efforts, whether this is Hive, whether this is all the infrastructure to set up shadow forks and test client combinations before going live, um, whether these are the reference tests that client teams kind of implement against, folks who works on the specification uh, on the consensus layer side, who worked on EIPs, and everyone who worked on the security side as well, including the bug bounty program. Um, so I'd ask everyone to please give a massive round of applause to all of these teams, all of these individuals who moved it there into proof of stake. As we were getting closer to the merge this summer, I was trying to think like, can we do something that'll stay around with all these people um, after DevCon is over, you know, to kind of highlight this contribution. Um, and it, it was a bit weird to find the right thing. Uh, so I spent a bunch of time talking with different client team leads, people in the EF, people in the community, asking them like, you know, what could we do for like all the folks who worked on this? Um, and I had a, a neat conversation with Ben from the Teku team. Uh, and so he was telling me like, all of the people on his team often end up not being able to go to ETH conferences because they're kind of so in the weeds working on their stuff that they literally forget about tickets going live, they can't find one, and then they show up and they can't get in the conference for the protocol they literally build. And it's not like they don't want to pay for it or anything, it's just like they completely miss it and then they're like stuck at the door for the Ethereum conference. Um, so that seemed like a solvable problem, like something we could, we could do to, to make their lives easier. Um, and so I, I spent some time talking to some folks, figuring out the best approach for this. Um, and I'm really, I'm really happy with what we came up with. So I'm, I'm excited to announce what we've called the merge or pass. 
So this is basically a soulbound token that we're going to be giving to everyone who's contributed to the merge that will guarantee them access to all of the top Ethereum conferences for the next few years. Um, yeah, thanks. And one thing that's neat about this, you know, because this will all be on chain, it'll all be public, so anyone in the community can obviously extend it and build on it. Um, but I'm really excited today to say, you know, the first partners we have for this are ETC, ETH Global, DEFCON, EDCON have all agreed to honor this for the next several years. Uh, so can I please get a round of applause for all of these uh, partners? Thank you.